Hello everyone, how's it going? So today I thought that I would share with you all the top five herbs for improving digestion and for digestion in general. So about a year ago, I shared a video on my herbal tea collection and since then I've gotten quite a few requests to do an updated tea collection or just another video on some of my favorite teas. A lot of you guys really liked that video. And so although I'm not going to be sharing my tea collection today, I will be sharing with you what I would consider to be the top five best herbs for digestion. And so all of these teas are ones that I personally drink myself. I love them. I keep them in my cupboard and they are excellent if you have a sensitive gut, if you get bloated easily, uh, maybe if you have IBS. And also it's the winter time and tea is just great all around. I'm currently drinking a little lemon tea here. Now all of these herbs that I'm going to be talking about can be taken in tea form. You can take them in capsules, you can find them in tincture as well, which is like a liquid um, extract. You can also take the, uh, find them in bulk, like cut and sifted, where you can brew your own teas. Anyways, let's jump in. So the first herb is a classic, and that is peppermint. Peppermint is really, really, really good for digestion and for a couple different reasons. One, it's a carminative, which means that it helps to expel gas and move gas out of the body, so it's good if you're feeling a little bit bloated, but it's also antispasmodic, so it's good for any kind of intestinal spasms, if there's any cramping, um, abdominal pain, that sort of thing, then peppermint is great for that. Now, I've also taken peppermint uh, in a capsule form. I never used to be the biggest fan of like anything mint flavored, but over time I've, I've really acquired a taste for mint and for peppermint especially, and I do love it in the morning. I think it's a great way to start your day, and it's also good in the evening after you've, you know, had your day full of meals. And the next herb is fennel. I adore fennel. So fennel, just like peppermint, is a carminative, which again means that it helps to kind of expel gases out of the body. It's also really particularly good for bloating. I love the way that I feel after I drink it. It's great after a meal. It's great sometime in the afternoon. Um, but I have to say, I don't necessarily love the taste of it. Fennel tastes like black licorice. So if you're a fan of black licorice, then you can go to town and you can enjoy fennel. But I still drink it, uh, especially if there's a day where I'm feeling a little bit more bloated. My next two herbs, I'm actually gonna group together because they're pretty similar and they are slippery elm and marshmallow root. So the reason why these two are similar and why they're so good for digestion is because they contain mucilage. So they have a mucilaginous you know, properties to them. And basically what mucilage is, is very, very soothing because it's actually kind of slimy, it's kind of goopy, um, and what it does is it helps to heal and soothe and protect our mucous membranes and the cells of our intestinal lining. So again, this is really good if you have any kind of inflammatory condition. They're also good if you have a sore throat, they're good for the esophagus, they're good for um, those sorts of things too. So they're really multifunctional, especially with slippery elm. It is particularly goopy and slimy. So when I first ever tried slippery elm, I tried it by making what's known as a gruel. 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 Basically, it's like a slimy, goopy porridge thing. It's like a weird porridge. You take a couple spoonfuls of slippery elm powder, which is how I personally have it. I have it like in a bag. And then you mix some hot water with it, you stir it, and it kind of turns into like a bowl of mucus. I don't know, I, I'm, I don't know, I kind of like soft, slimy things. Anyway, it's a little weird, but it's so soothing. You can add cinnamon to this little gruel, you can add a little bit of mashed banana, you know, you can have fun with it, or you can just take a spoonful and, you know, put it in a mug of boiling water and drink it like a tea, but it, you will notice it has like a sliminess to it. And the last one here for digestion is ginger. Can't not mention ginger. So ginger root is wonderful, wonderful for digestion. So it has a number of amazing functions. One being it's anti-inflammatory, two being it is an antispasmodic, uh, similar to peppermint, so really great for any kind of intestinal spasms. And it's also an anti-emetic, which means that it helps to prevent nausea and vomiting. And it does this because it has active constituents in it that kind of, quite literally, stop food from coming up and, and sort of promote 
you know, the proper direction for food to go. So it helps to prevent vomiting in that way. And that's why a lot of people know as, you know, taking ginger if they're nauseous, because that's, that's what it actually helps with. So it's really good for regulating gastrointestinal motility. So ensuring that things are moving along properly and with the right rhythmic contractions, that sort of thing. So ginger is amazing. I really love ginger. And if you don't want to have ginger, you know, in tea or capsule, Definitely cook with it more often. You can obviously buy fresh ginger root, peel it and grate it, add it to your stir fries, put it in a smoothie. Um, there's so many great ways to use ginger. You can also buy it ground and use that in your cooking. And So those are the top five herbs for digestion that I wanted to talk about today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a thing or two. Leave me a comment below if you uh, use any of these herbs or foods that I mentioned and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you can find me on all my social platforms and I will see you guys next week. Bye!